Hey friends, welcome to today's video. I'm doing a journal with me and I've got Steve here. Hi everybody. And uh, I'm gonna do a bit of a Christmas spread today. I love Christmas. I love, love Christmas. And now that it's like, what, December? Uh, so we've already started, Second. we've already done December that like we feel now we can officially, without apology, Oh yeah, it's Celebrate. post Thanksgiving, like we're, we're done with that, <laughs> Halloween's gone, no one even remembers Halloween 2017, no. it no. never existed, uh -uh. We're, we're fully in Christmas mode, but I, um, I'm really excited because today I'm using, <laughs> I sound like an infomercial for myself, <laughs> uh, no I just wanted to say I'm using the Blokes stamp set, the one that I released ah. this week, and Steve hasn't seen this, he's seeing this at the same time that you're seeing it, yeah. he hasn't even seen the finished spread, so I think he's excited. I'm super excited. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a masculine spread I've got going on today. And until right at the end when I add all the glitter. That's, I was just going to say, do you add glitter to this? Because then... <laughs> it's not stereotypically masculine by the time I'm finished with it. But um, I still really enjoyed it. Yeah. But I'm using the bloke stamp set. I'm going to draw like a, a young Saint Nick. And um, well, I'm going to use the stamp set to help me. I wanted to say that uh, the stamp set's half gone already. And there's a lot of stuff that's kind of selling out or sold out already on the Etsy. And uh, I don't think I can get any restocks happening in time for you to get them under your Christmas tree. So head on over to the Etsy now if you feel like picking something up for Christmas, um, because that's just going to be such a nightmare. And I really don't want you guys to get disappointed if I can't get anything to you yeah, by Christmas. Right. I mean, especially with shipping and everything. Yeah, I don't even... I'm, look, to be honest, this is the first year I'm going to try and navigate that for myself on the scale that I'm doing it now. And I just anticipate people having a few issues. So I would just say, get yourself in early. Like myself, like I wouldn't leave anything till two weeks before if I was getting it delivered in the post. Mm -hmm. That's just me putting it out there uh, for me as a, a, an online consumer. So I would just, I'm giving you your uh, your options here. Think of it as a third, a fourth, no, a fourth party seller halfway across the world, <laughs> but you're buying it off of Amazon and it takes... Well, not even. A lot, a lot of customers are from the US, but I like just... I'm well. That's the difference because Amazon gets the stuff to you super quick. Sometimes because they have like distribution deals. I just go through the USPS, and you know what that's like around Christmas. Oh so my I send out all my prayers to the posties around Christmas because <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine that uh, they're having too many fun days at work. It's all right. At least they're busy. It's true. At least they are busy, and they're also kind of like Santa's helpers. They're true. So postal elves. Postal elves. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk about a bit about the holidays because you haven't been on this uh, channel for a hot minute. No, I've been busy. Doing what exactly? Well, sitting on the couch enjoying Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Since we last spoke, uh, I closed the Coco Show mm. at the park, and it was a great show. That was a great show. I've so been doing special. nothing but talk about Coco this past oh, week. I know I will love all your Coco spreads. I don't think we can go there, Steve, because we don't have enough time for That's you to true. start about Coco. I won't, I won't. But I have seen it many times. <laughs> I was actually fortunate enough to go to the Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, and I saw a pre-screening of it over there, which was incredible. And then we saw it several times opening week, and then I actually just went today to watch it in Spanish. Why aren't you special? I'm very blessed. I'll have everyone know I didn't go with Steve to that pre-screening. They wouldn't let me bring a guest. It was cast members only. Yes. Sorry. Very interesting turn of events. No, look, I went and saw it with Steve at the LCAP, and it was uh, to die for. Love the movie. Obviously, I'm obsessed with it because I've been journaling about it. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just, I'm kind of taking a, a little bit of a break from it because I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it for myself. Yeah. So, I think I'm good for a while. Yeah. How many, you've seen it how many times now? Total five, three times Eng or four times English, one time Spanish. I've seen three English <laughs> and three Frozen's. Three, three, oh, <laughs> three um, pre Coco Frozen's, which feel like they go for longer than the whole Coco movie. But uh, uh, I liked it the first time I saw it. It yeah. was cute. I like the idea of it. I just I think maybe they could have just left that for when the actual film comes out. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. What I do appreciate is that you are seeing characters that you love and that, you know, you're kind of keeping up with their story. But I think it was just a little too long and probably a little misplaced. But anyway. Look, I, I went in I, for Coco. I didn't need the whole thing. Yeah. Just maybe seven minutes would have been fine. Just a little ditty would have been fine for mm -hmm. me. Look, let's talk about um, Thanksgiving. We just... Last year, Steve tried to cook. He taught me all about Black Friday, which just shocked the living daylights yeah. out of me. I'm not involved. I um, I like Black Friday as far as, like, online. Cyber <laughs> Monday, too late to get a deal Tuesday. I like all of that. But I in real life, the whole tent thing... Yeah, I'm not good with the tent thing. I'm not good with waiting in line. I'm not good with crushing people at the door for that 
TV. No. <laughs> We've got like a what a twelve inch flat screen in our in our living room. So, what, All of our friends say it's too small. Yeah, we have some of our best friends. They come over and they're <laughs> always just trying to convince us to get a bigger TV. But you know what? It's like maybe a thirty something inch. It's fine. We love it. It works. I think. I, I mean, Steve's been curious, especially around Black Friday. He was like, "Well, this is the price of this flat screen," and I guess. And I was like, "No, I don't want a bigger TV. I don't need it. We honestly don't have time to watch TV anymore." That's true. But you know, like that's see, I'm I'm approach, approaching it from the American mindset of you know bigger is better. Yeah. And I need it. And, and I'm approaching it from that don't want to be homeless mindset of we don't have the money <laughs> and it's an unnecessary purchase. See, 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 folks, it's balance, it's balance. <laughs> so marriages. Yeah, I, I think you guys maybe thought I was the dreamer. Steve is absolutely one hundred percent. Oh my gosh, I residing exist, in fairyland. I exist <laughs> in like fantasy land. I exist like in the clouds. Sometimes yeah. bubble brains. Bubble brains. <laughs> um, so yeah, we had the the whole Black Friday thing. We actually got the food this year for Thanksgiving from Sprouts. We just did a seventy buck deal. It was like enough food to feed a small army. Yeah, it's pre cooked. We just had a huge. You just up. have it's to incredible. heat it. It's amazing. Super delicious. We're never cooking anything again. Nope. Um, so if you ever come to our place for a meal, you can thank Sprouts <laughs> for that. <laughs> well, I guess you can thank us because we had to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's such a great deal. And honestly, like, I know that the holidays can be overwhelming. Some, and, you know, like, we're, like... I hate cooking. Well, and also, like, you know, sometimes, like, we just all have to work and we're busy. And, you know, everybody's life is mm. different. And if you do want a super delicious cooked meal, like, just go to Sprouts. You order online, go pick it up day of, and you just heat up. And it's, it's, it's super delicious. Well, a lot of people actually really enjoy the process and they have family recipes. So I totally get that. Yeah, but for sure. This is the, uh, the one part of American culture that I am adopting quickly. And that's the, uh, the convenience lifestyle, <laughs> <laughs> the whole Amazon to your door in two days. I'm into it. I'm yeah. here for that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, uh, I'd get a green card just for that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really interesting over here. How, how those holidays are different because obviously we don't have Thanksgiving in Australia. So it's interesting to, to observe that holiday and see how everyone gets into it and what a big thing it is for Americans. Yeah. Americans are super patriotic. Like we are. I feel like Australians are too, but we're a bit more laid back about it. Like, oh yeah, love Australia. But <laughs> Americans are like hardcore, like just we paint are. your house in the American flag. We are and, red, white, and blue all the way. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're red, white, and blue too. Well, I guess, who was here first? Who was, who was around first? Was it us or you guys? Definitely not us. <laughs> so. Our country is like nine years old. Although I guess Britain was the original red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we did come from Britain. And we've got the Union Jack in our flag. Yeah, you do. <laughs> the Union. The Union. Um, so look, I, the only reason I'm talking about Thanksgiving is because um, we had some uh, Instagram comments where uh, people wanted me to wait to celebrate for Christmas. And I totally get it because I, you know what I'm like about holidays after holidays, but mm. holidays before holidays, I think it's fair game. You think? Yeah, if I want to start selling, well, look, like would, Halloween in in July. Mm, okay, well, a couple of months out is okay. So for me, Christmas is in December, so I'm good. Like October, I should be allowed to start, and if I'm pushing it, end of September. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, <laughs> I I have to operate under the certain guise of like, while I am an American, and while I do appreciate Thanksgiving, and you know, of course, I love it. I grew up with the holiday. I have spent you know, many years, not many, but several years of my life overseas mm -hmm. when I lived in Europe and then I lived in Japan. And, you know, that's, I quickly had to You're adapt to that. You're trying to be so bougie saying Europe. It was England. It's still Europe. <laughs> but even so, like, I am, um, you know, they don't, they have different traditions, different holidays. And mm -hmm. so you just learn to adapt accordingly. And then when you realize, oh, well, hey, who took that picture? That's mine. Yours I did. is your I picture. Did. <laughs> that's it's... actually, speaking of Europe, that, that wine bottle photo was taken in, uh, Barcelona. Mm, I got it printed on a little um, playing card. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and uh, this is, oh, okay, so Steve, you don't know this, but um, a lot of, is it scrapbooking? No, journalists, scrapbookers, I don't know, what it, Project Life, I think it is. I've never done it, but I hear it all the time, December Daily. Mm. It's um, this idea, I think you're supposed to document your life for every day in December or something, like Christmas style. Okay. I don't know, honestly, I feel like everyone's going to come in and tell me in the comments below. Please we'll we'll sound off, because uh, that's my impression, that you're doing some kind of like scrapbooking every day in December, um, and it's called December Daily. I figured that my December Daily, which I've already broken, uh, is a December Daily you Diet. You know, James rules. <laughs> <laughs> my December Daily Diet was just um, wine and a cube of cheese. Was that today? 
it hasn't been no. any day in December, <laughs> but I um I thought I'd be the one person in the world to actually lose weight over Christmas. Oh, great. That was my resolution before the new year where I don't have any resolutions. Got it. These are all my Christmas traditions that I'm sharing with you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's why I put it in the spread. I have, yeah, I, I wish I could. What? Lose weight over Christmas. There's just so much chocolate. We're trying. Yeah. But mum just sent us, mum and auntie just sent us a big box of stuff from Australia. It's full of twisties and Tim Tams and all the stuff we were supposed to open on Christmas Eve that I've already opened. He wouldn't, like, there was just no, <laughs> no holding it back. <coughs> Excuse I, me. I don't get to eat Australian <laughs> lollies very often. No, and they're so good. And we actually had people over yesterday and it was like, yeah, I might as well just bust it open. Yeah, and they were trying it and they were, had all their opinions and every time I heard a a sour opinion about something, I thought, well, you're not having any more. All for me. <laughs> you don't need to test them to like them. You'll never eat them again. Well, it's definitely an acquired <laughs> taste. It's fine. Yeah, I did. Look, everyone, everyone's chips are different, aren't they? Yeah. Like, they're crisps. We have lots of chicken-flavored chips. The British have that prawn cocktail. You guys over here have barbecue. all those cheese and barbecues and stuff. Mm-hmm. Sour cream and onion. Mm. Which lots is of not my favorite. Random stuff going on around here. So, um, I've anyway, hold about- on, hold on. Before we move on. To finish my thing about going to the holidays before, like Thanksgiving, oh. I've learned to adapt that, that you know, Thanksgiving is, is a fantastic holiday, but we were ready for Christmas. We had, mm. or we've had our tree up for over three weeks, and we are in yeah. the mode. That's that's the conversation I was heading to. Oh, so good see, segue. Yeah, um, back to what we were already talking about. <laughs> I um, look, I wanted to say that yeah, we had that conversation on Instagram about when was appropriate to kind of start celebrating Christmas. Obviously, anyone's going to do what they want, and if you tell me I can't do something, uh, you can He's bet your bottom it. dollar I'm going to be doing He's it in the next ten it. minutes. Yep. Um, so we had, we'd gone out and got the Christmas tree like ASAP, and we went full. Um, we went Home f- Depot, Martha Stewart. We've got a beautiful tree. <laughs> we do have a beautiful tree. It almost doesn't fit in the house, to be honest. We're looking at it right now. It's gorgeous. It's about an inch from touching the roof with the star <laughs> on. And there's two stars at the top. One lit, one not. Yeah. One's glitter, <laughs> one's not. Uh, we have a really interesting selection of uh, ornaments this year. I think it looks stunning. Like, I have it on during the daytime. Yeah. Which is not great for the power bill, but I just love Christmas too much. No, Christmas is such a great time. I mean, it is the most wonderful time of the year, right? And I know that not everybody celebrates Christmas, but for those of us who do celebrate Christmas, it is the season of giving, of hope, of peace. And I think, you know, it is one of those things where if, like, we could share this spirit all day, all year long, I think, you know, the world would be a better place. So why, yeah. not, why not get into it a little bit sooner just to remind us what what we celebrate and why we celebrate it and then hopefully it'll translate into the new year you won't catch me in a mood like this in in at any other time of the year I'm about ready to keep the house Christmas all year long <laughs> <laughs> it's been so pleasant around here the actually um, the one argument we did have about Christmas was stocking stuffers and what that means yeah so in America stocking stuffers are like you know little tchotchke toys that you know, maybe like you get at the dollar section of Target. Yeah, and in my world, <laughs> they're like gifts. <laughs> <laughs> they're full blown gifts. <laughs> um, in the sense that, like, my my family's got a really good sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Um, so it it's not beyond my mum to go and find things that I already own and wrap them up for me for Christmas. Yeah. Um, things that I've like walked around the house like this one year I said I loved this photo of my sister because it was so funny and I remember the whole I remember when we got it done and it was a family holiday and uh, she actually wrapped up that photo and gave it to me for Christmas <laughs> um, she's been giving me groceries for Christmas and my birthday since I can remember like 16 I mean that's not such a bad idea like you want to give me groceries for Christmas come yep. on over <laughs> pre-cooked Trader yeah. Joe's chicken <laughs> some toilet paper some aluminum foil some broccoli <laughs> bring it over um, yeah no so she She's been doing stuff like that, which honestly, like, I, I find really funny and I enjoy. I used to get, um, what's it called? A kitchen appliances mm. for Christmas. And you got some last year. I told Steve about it and he thought he'd bring back that tradition. So I got a toaster. I got some frying pans. Mm-hmm. We needed new frying pans. We got, we got knives. You couldn't cook nice. anything on those old frying pans and get it off. Yeah. <laughs> knives yeah we got I got so much uh, kitchen utensils last yeah. year <laughs> so many um, but yeah so we were just implementing that tradition and um, for me a stocking stuffer is any any kind of those things like all those dumb presents that you don't see, like 
particularly like because Steve mentions stuff all the time like Steve will always say oh I want this or oh that's interesting or when I was a kid I used to do this so to me I take those like really subtle cues and I think oh that'd be a really funny like gag gift to give him so they're more gag gifts I guess yeah but it has to fit inside a stocking you can't put a frying pan inside a stocking but I, I just called it a stocking stuff see that's where like and that's where the argument happened because Steve is master of words we were having a semantics argument and I could not be bothered <laughs> <laughs> and I was ganged up on two against one. <laughs> two Americans versus one me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it made sense because I thought, like, you know, if I'm going to get you a gift, I want to get you something that you could either use or something that you really want or something that's really... Like, if I'm going to spend the money, I want to get you something that is valuable. Oh, and see, that's where we had that other argument about when I would buy something for someone that they necessarily wouldn't pick up themselves. So if they saw, like, a junky little thing for four bucks and they would think, oh, I'd play with that for five minutes and then get over it. No. Like a fidget spinner. Waste that, to money. me, is a perfect stocking stuffer. No, nope, it'll sit around doing nothing. Yeah, but that's the thing, because you would never buy it for yourself because well, it's such why? a waste. Why? You're going to hold it for five minutes and then you're wasting your money on something no, that you're not going to use. No, someone else gave it to you, so you don't feel so guilty because you know they bought it as, like, just a random piece of junk. I feel bad that they wasted that. I see, I don't feel bad. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee that after this Christmas season, we're going to do a video of our haul that we get that Santa brings each and every one of you, each and every one of us. And you guys can tell us who who Santa was maybe a little bit more generous to, okay? Yeah. I'll show you all the receipts, too. We'll see, we'll, we'll see who gets a fidget spinner this year. That ain't going to be me. <laughs> I would play with it for five minutes and get rid of it. Well, see, that's also the joy about being married, is because you kind of get a gift and you know, oh, I can kind of use this too. <laughs> see, this is where it's confusing to me, because if we're talking about being American and Australian, that whole consumerism thing, that makes sense to me that I would just get you random pieces of junk. Yeah, I mean, whatever. A gift is a gift. It's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> Not my thoughts. <laughs> Let's move on, because that <laughs> argument seems to be resurfacing. <laughs> Welcome to our real life. <laughs> yeah, well, let's talk about more about um, a collection of decorations around here, because it's full Christmas mode, I'm obsessed, the Martha Stewart tree, which is beautiful, the bauble box is on the wall. Yes, that's one of my most favourite things that James has ever created. Thank you. We're loving that. Mm -hmm. um, we've got the we've got a really thin, elegant reindeer on the table that I stepped on the first day we got it, broke it down, Liz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't put those back on because mm -hmm. actually I broke them both in the same place on either side so you can't tell. So if you didn't know, you wouldn't. It'd be fine. No. Everyone knows because I just said it, but you would never we guess. We have a beautiful ceramic tree that is um, mid-century inspired. Little ceramic oh, Christmas tree that. that has that's lit up. It's one of my favorites. That's an afterthought for me. We have a little nice nativity. We have a really cute little nativity. We have, um, what's it called? We have a little nutcracker right next to a candle that I'm paranoid is gonna catch on fire every time Steve lights a candle. No, it's really cute, and it's like there, we um, used a prop that we, um, we have a prop, a little um, flower. Um, 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 um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find the words, use your words, Steve. Uh, the, we did a photo shoot last year, Santa Lucia inspired photo shoot, which is um, an old, which is a Swedish Christmas tradition. And James created this, um, this wreath headpiece, and we used feathers instead of candles. And uh, it was a gold tipped feather, so it was, it was kind of like candle esque. Candle. And um, so we have that as kind of the base to a candle. It's really pretty. Yeah. What else do we have around here? We've got the cats. The cats are also a Christmas decoration because you'll find them under the tree 24 7. Mm. Oliver's eaten most of the lower ornaments. hanging ornaments. Yeah, that's like naked on the bottom. Um, Bianca's been trying to get into a couple of presents. Bianca's still pretty chill, actually. She used to love sitting under the tree, but we have presents under there already, so I think maybe she's she feels a bit cramped. I feel like Santa's already visited our house. Yeah. I'm not mad about it. No, I mean, we're just going to sit there and stare at them for the next, what, 23, 22 days. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about anticipation. Your problem is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've. what else have you got to say? I think that's pretty much it. I hit on everything that I wanted to talk about I like today. your stamp. I think he looks really good. I, I'm, I'm impressed that you got all of that, it, just that base stamp. Yeah, well, that's... Oh, I guess we can just say, like, I've pre-filmed all the stamp series videos and they're scheduled to go up, so I hope you guys have been enjoying those. Yeah. I those think, have been fun. Yeah, I like... I watch them and I like how you transform them. I love seeing what everyone's been doing with it. Because it's been super fun to see you guys uh, put your own spin on everything once you realize how easy it is. Yeah. It's super... Like, it's just a really great template. 
Also, I like this mm. little cube of cheese over here. If um, you can clock the reference, let us know in the comments. Didn't we already talk about it? No. You oh. just said wine and cheese, but you didn't say what the cube of cheese... No, I thought I talked about my December daily diet. Yeah, but that whole art piece, the Chanel plate with the two cubes of cheese. Yes. Clock the reference. Clock the reference. <laughs> I love it. Me too. Such a good movie, such a good moment. Iconic mm -hmm. advice. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna say. And that's all. It's not the first time you've referenced that movie. No. In one of my videos. Mm -mm. Actually, that was probably the last time you were around when I was watching those things. Oh yeah, I kind of like stopped by, I said a whole quick hello. Steve is sometimes in the background and he probably could come over and do some more voiceovers, um, but he's generally working on photographs. Yeah, I should probably be doing that right now, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, and this is the last bit of work I'm doing today as well. Great, so, uh, so vacation, good. yeah, let's go watch a movie. <laughs> we're gonna have a vacation tonight, guys. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Bye. Bye.